Hello there paint shoppers. Welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. On this one we're going to look at curves, the curves adjustment, whether it's on the image directly or as an adjustment layer. Curves is a really good adjustment. It's probably the most powerful one because it can change the contrast dramatically and it can change the color, the tone, it can get rid of color casts, all kinds of neat stuff. And there's all kinds of really neat special effects you can do with curves. It's a lot more powerful than, say, the levels adjustment. Uh, where levels leaves off, curves just keeps going and going and going. So let's take a look at this and see what we can come up with, see what it's like. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go to Adjust, Brightness and Contrast, Curves. And this is the dialog. You can see it's got the uh, histogram right in here. It's a bit light on the lightest areas. Uh, so, you know, it's it's okay, but the, the picture is not too bad, actually. Now, we've got a whole bunch of things on here. We've got a preview button. We've got preview on image. We're going to start with this, and we'll end up with this. Um, that's just the way I'm going to do it. <clears throat> you got these uh, presets. Now, the presets. These are the ones that these are only on this version of the curves. They're not on the, the adjustment layer. I don't know why, but uh, that that's what they are. Okay, last use default doesn't do much. Some of these are going to be kind of wild, so, you know, hang on. Uh, darken, it's going to darken it. You can see it's changed the curve from a straight line into this. Now, that's a little bit extreme. Don't like that one. Reset it. And let's go to the next one. Factory defaults. It's going to be the same as earlier. And then we got, okay, <clears throat> now it's time to start hanging on. Intense primary. <laughs> oh, I've never figured out exactly where I want to have this done on my image, but this is what it looks like. So, there we go. Reset. Now we're going to go to the next one, and we are going to go to Lighten. Now, Lighten, that's not too bad. I mean, it's washed out. It's kind of desaturated, but it's okay, you know. You can see what it is. It's not really off the wall. So, let's do a reset here, and let's go to the next one we've got here. Low Contrast Darken. Uh, not sure about this. And that's a strange curve. One of the things they say is never have the curve going down. So we got one going down. These are all right on there. These are just included with this. So it's from Corel. So I'm not saying anything about Corel. <laughs> Maybe their artistic impressions and look at things. Because they do make Painter, and Painter is pretty darn good. Okay, let's reset that. And the last one is Low Contrast Lighten. Okay, I've never had a picture that I wanted to look like that one either. So, there we go. So, you can actually add things to it by doing an adjustment. Uh, let's reset that. Do an adjustment and then just give it a name. And uh, it'll, it'll do it. Okay? So, that's what that is. Down this side, you've got the, the four buttons, the auto. These are all the auto settings. And if you click on contrast, for instance... It's going to move this up just a bit because it's going to move it up to the base of the histogram. And the histogram, while we can't see it here, there is some quite there's some some very light things in here, like this right here, for instance, very light. It's almost pure white, so it's not going to go much farther than that. Change the color, nothing, because there's nothing wrong with the color. Let's do levels. Well, you can see it's exactly the same as contrast, so we'll reset that. Now, the options are kind of interesting. They have to do with what we were just doing, the auto adjustments. Now, it's at 0 0.01. If I give this a click up, uh, there, it's up to 1 and 1. Say OK. And now, if I click on contrast, it's going to make a bigger change. OK? Now, that's, not that's OK with this one, but it's not necessarily good for any others. Now, you can see it's not only moved this one, it's moved this one. So it's driven some things into clipping, which means you've got pure black and pure white with no detail in it. So let's take a look at the histogram here. And we will see how that looks. There is the histogram. Um, now you can see this spike here. That means there's pure black there. And this one means there's almost pure white here. So let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that, that last adjustment. Okay, so once more, we're going to dive into curves here. 
Uh, I suppose I go to the right menu, brightness and contrast, curves. Okay, now I'm going to reset it so everything's cool. Uh, down here you've got the color droppers. I'm not going to play with them this time. That's going to be a video all on their own. They're really, really neat and fun. Okay, this is the RGB. You can change the red, the green, and the blue. That's probably a more advanced thing. Um, you got to know something about color theory. and eh, Let's just kind of skip over that. Pretend it's not there. Uh, so, most of the time you're going to use this to change the contrast. So let's just do a few things. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it so it just comes up to the base of the histogram as I see it. Right here. Right there. And it's going to show it on the on the image. See it got a bit brighter. Now I'm going to take in about the same distance from the start. I'm going to pull that down a bit. That's going to darken it up if it eventually finishes here on my computer. And uh, then I'm going to add something here. And I'm going to take it up. Okay. Now, you can see the shape. See how that popped in? That's that's nice now. Now, the, the, the slope from here to here determines the contrast. The higher this is, the more approaching vertical is, the higher the contrast. So if I move this over, it's going to get more contrasty. And that's if this computer ever catches up with what I'm doing. And uh, it will eventually. And there you go, finally! If I move this one over, it's going to get darker. And we'll have a lot of contrast, which is probably not something you want in this picture. The original place I went with it was pretty good. Um, and eventually we'll get there. There we go. See, that's that's way too much. So I'm going to just take this back over there. And we put it there. And we're going to bring this guy over here. Put it up a bit. Now we've got a slight increase in slope on this axis from here to here. And that's just going to increase the contrast a bit. Because this one didn't need an awful lot. And I'm going to pull it down a bit more. Whoops. See, now I put a, uh, a point in there that I don't need. And so I'm going to get rid of that. Let's just wait and see what this does. Whoa! Okay, see, I can create something that Corel does. I'm going to take this point, click on it, and just drag it off, and it goes away. So now I'm going to take this one down, pull it down a bit, and that is going to darken it up a bit, and this is going to take it at the latest. Okay? So that's how you use it. That's much better. Okay? So that's the one on, on the uh, right on the image. Now I'm going to cancel that. We're going to go over here to the adjustment layer. And now we've got this. It's exactly the same, except you don't have those things. I've got one for a flower, and I've got an S-curve. See, I've programmed this. This is an S-curve. And you can see it's it's okay. Uh, and it was designed for a different f uh, image that had a full range of histogram things from here down to here. Okay, let's reset that. Now, <laughs> we've been working mostly on image, on previewing on image. Now, if you take this off and hit this, then you get these two little windows before and after. And that's most of the uh, adjustment layers in Corel Paint Shop Pro. That's what they do. And you can zoom in and you can zoom out. I don't think working on these little tiny thumbnails is a good thing you know it's it's a, i've never used it just because it's so hard to see these things and you, you can zoom in but you know it's just not the same as looking at the full image so one day i was working on this and i thought ah man this is the way i want to see what's going on a bit better so i did this and that's what happened well, i said well that's kind of cool now i got a decent sized um before and after to work with i i had no idea that this was available so I decided I didn't want it off to the side, so I pulled it off here, and I moved it up there, and I got that. I had no idea that it would do that. That makes life a whole lot easier. Now, if I take this up and just take it up, now we've got almost, well, not almost, but we got closer to a full-size image to play with. And we can actually see what's going on before and after. You don't have to be clicking buttons or anything. So if I do this guy, and I go here... And I take this down, and I take this up, and now we've got our contrast. And you can see it's better than it was here. So that is a really neat feature of Corel Paint Shop Pro. Now I'm using X8, 
Um, I don't know how far back this feature goes, but it's a pretty good one. Um, and it, it eliminates the need of working on those goofy little tiny windows. So if you didn't know about it, now you do. Okay, now over here we've got, this is the same, yeah, see there's no presets there. So let's say okay. Whoops, get rid of that. There, just a sec, come on. Okay, and we're done. Now we've got this and this. And if you want, when you're in a an adjustment layer, you can lower the opacity, it'll it'll take it down a bit. So if you had too much contrast, you can you can lower it. Okay? One more thing. Now, this curve from here up to about here, this area from across, that's pretty much your shadow area from here to about two thirds of the way up is your midtone stuff and from about here up to the end is your highlight stuff. So when you're moving stuff around here, I'm changing the shadows and the midtones here and the highlights there. And if I pull this down a little bit to increase the contrast even a bit more, oops, it's not doing it. I was going to do it on my big ones here. There we go. Okay, you can see it's uh, even improved a little bit more. So that's curves. Curves are great. There's lots of things you can do with them. They're fun, they're effective, and they really do a good job. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you found something new in this. If you didn't know about curves, cool. Now you do. If you knew about curves, eh, well, good. I'm glad you did. Thanks. So you take care. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Bye now.